Head coach Curtis Fry joins us. Gamecocks getting ready to compete at the SEC Championships May 11th through 13th up in Knoxville. Coach, this is the time of year that you work for all season long, all off season, all Christmas break. It's for the outdoor postseason. I know your team is very excited, and you're very excited to finally be at this stage of the season, which, of course, starts with the annual conference meet. Yes, you know, it's good uh, uh, being pretty healthy, headed down to Knoxville. Uh, this is the greatest meet in American track and field. I mean, uh, outside of the Olympic trials or Olympic games, I mean, the SEC championship fits so close to the top of the bracket of track and fields in the world, you know, because it's got so many kids from everywhere in the world in the SEC. So this is a great moment for kids in track. You got uh, on the men's side two guys going in who might be considered favorites in their events, uh, TT in the 200, Josh in the shot put. Of course, Josh got it done indoors uh, at the SEC Championship back in February. TT still looking for that breakthrough at the conference level, but both of those guys have done big things for you in the outdoor regular season, and both of them I know are primed for their last SECs to maybe stand at the top of that podium. You know, this morning some awards came, and it's, uh, we didn't get but one this year. That's that first team SEC award, and it was beautiful. Uh, just when Josh was able to pick that up this morning, it was real heavy. And it was saying, you know, this is the favorite award that I've ever had. I didn't know they send this award off. Uh, it's one that I hope that we can get. Last year we only got we got one. And uh, so it's difficult to get that first team SEC. And so we're looking forward. These guys both got a shot at SEC um, first team. And uh, we ride them. You know, to, uh, we, we got to score 33 to 35 points. And, and those are two guys well, that could come away with 16 from one and, and I would think 12 from the other. I mean, that's, that's 28 points, and you don't have a 35 out here. So they, they fit a big part for us. I hate to say that to put pressure on them, but, you know, they've handled pressure quite well this season, and we look forward to them going into it because if they're going to continue a career, they've got to handle pressure. You guys do have a big group on the men's side, uh, in addition to TT and Josh, that uh, I know you're expecting some points out of. Marcus Lehman, of course, a, a senior in the decathlon who's been through the ringer before. Armand's really coming in in the pole vault. Uh, Eric Favors in the shot put, uh, and, and others. Jan Rondriana solo in the, the horizontal jumps. You got some guys that, uh, if they peak at the right time, they could also maybe put up some big points for you this week. You know, they're bonus. And we're looking forward to them coming through because you have to have been to that show before. And last year, um, uh, both of those guys um, in the pole vault came through. Long jump got some small points there. And so, and, and Marcus, you know, if Marcus can get through the injury at the meet, he's going to be a, a fine scorer. But it's been two weeks since he's competed, so we worry a little bit about him. Uh, he's going on to the Nationals, so we're going to be careful this week about whether Marcus competes or not. So, but rather, other than that, we got kids that can surprise people, you know. So we're not going to give our hand, but we think we got a couple of surprises. On the women's side, I know uh, in the field you've got some contenders. Lisa Labiche has been jumping really well, was uh, fantastic at SEC indoors, and also hit a new collegiate best at Penn Relays a couple weeks back. Uh, Hanifa in the the triple jump as well. Uh, Aliyah in the four hundred. You've uh, you've got some. Uh, candidates uh, on the women's side that uh, if they really uh, hit it the right time, uh, they could be up there on the podium. Our girls in the jumps, uh, we, uh, Coach D's done a wonderful job. I mean, uh, Rugi is stronger than she's ever been, and so we feel like that she's got a shot to get a big jump off and get us in the top three. And the same thing uh, with Lisa. And so we ride the, those uh, the, them pretty high. And Jordan Fields, also a heptathlete jumper, um, are our, our major points there. And then in the throws, we got two scores that scored indoors and in in, indoors. Uh, KD and uh, Elisa Springs, both are SEC scores. So outdoors, well, our points are, are there. I think we got a shot at some one of the two girls in the, in the short hurdles. You know, they are running well right now, and they're hitting on that downward trail. You know, they need 13-1. Uh, we'll give them a shot at being in the finals. They're 13-2 right now, and that's just uh, one run away from making finals. And uh, some of the people who ran really fast early are coming back toward 13-2. So i got to keep their confidence up so that they can uh, 
creep in there and give us an opportunity to get a few points. So, Coach, we'll end on this, and you kind of mentioned it, but on the men's side and on the women's side, uh, what are what are the goals this weekend for Knoxville? I know you want to get a few more into regionals, but you've also got goals as far as where you want to finish in the conference. You know, uh, our best. That's what we want to do. But, you know, numbers are numbers in track and field. You know, 10% of what you're going to do, you, you're not going to see – uh, the numbers by much more than 10 percent but you're not going to fall much more than 10 percent and that's the same way all across the board for everyone I, I feel like that uh, a good top 10 finish uh, for the women to be 10th or better uh, would be great our guys to fight our way back to eight to be where we were indoors um, the league has got uh, seven uh, seven of the top 10 teams in the country on the men's side and um, and it's similar on the women so we could we could be a top fifteen team on the men's side and uh, and only and only be number nine in the conference. So so we're not gonna beat ourselves up. We're just gonna do what we do, do it well, keep the pressure off our kids because the SEC is tougher than the NC two A's. We get through it healthy, go to the, the first round of the nationals, and uh, with more numbers then uh, I'll feel like we've had a successful year. There we go. Big weekend coming up for the Gamecocks uh, all weekend long, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Knoxville. Of course, Friday and Saturday coverage on SEC Network Plus, and then Sunday night at 6 o'clock goes live television uh, on SEC Network as uh, folks compete for those conference crowns. Head Coach Curtis Fry, uh, we'll be sure to talk to you while we're up in Knoxville. Appreciate you stopping by. Go Gamecocks.